last time on Renaissance City. The three of you find yourselves strapped to some very cold, heavy-duty metal chairs. You guys okay? I'm not sure yet. I'm not loving this experience. Is it King that's there? No, it is Shadow, Raymond, and Cotton. Cotton doesn't have a pubis pocket. What about Cotton's prison pocket? I wish I could implant a thought in somebody's mind. My mind control can't really do that, though, can it? It absolutely can. Demon Shade completely compelled to loose Raymond. I start rocking the chair back and forth. His whole body just explodes with all his might, just trying to break every bind at the same time. XJs, uh, it's been nice. It's been great. Uh, We got shit to do. If you do not complete your training, there may be side effects. King is here. King is being held in a separate facility from you as he is unable to refrain from violence. Let's go. Let's go. I can't get King. We got to find him. Let's power walk. Raymond's going to lead the way with a very enthusiastic power walk. Giant grin on his face. Cotton falls right in behind him. It's all in the hips. Um, You get outside the building, and you are somewhere downtown central Detroit. What? We're going to the Troubadour. Guys, I'm worried. Somebody's going to flip the switch in a minute, and I'm not going to be in control anymore. Are there any hats on the hat rack? You're going to steal from his customers? No, man. I'm just going to see what people are wearing, dude. I'm in business. Does anybody remember the code word? Chalupas? Cotton's on a beeline to get a magnet applied to the back of his neck. Yeah, me too. Me too, me too, me too. I put it on my neck. Does it stick? You immediately stiffen, and uh, you are in a a severe amount of pain. Troubadour, have you had any progress with Daniel? It is my uh, working theory that... um, Daniel is um, the victim of of his own um, thoughts and emotions. Hmm? I have some calls out to some friends, uh, medical professionals, yes. No one has uh, responded to me as of yet. Those power talkers we had fell into the enemy's hands. I can't summon King, and they told us that King is in a separate facility. That leads me to believe that they have separated us entirely. Shadow, you know exactly where this location is. This is the hospital that that Spooks has been um, at for the last, where you had her placed several years ago. Guys, I'm not comfortable being somewhere where King isn't yet. We've got to go get him. Well, let's go get him. I mean, we got to gear up, obviously, but let's go. All right. A-team montage? We should, no, we should spend this um, entire episode at the store gearing up. Is that cool, Duke? Yeah. (laughs) Yep. Great. We We need to go hat shopping. We need to go shoe shopping. We need to get armor. Probably need a new vehicle. Yeah, you'll you'll go visit. Uh, you know, go visit Taylor's Taylor. Um, yeah, we should take a picture. Um, commission a photograph of Cotton without King. Yeah. Do you know? Mm. Do you know where your car is? Do you need to go buy another car? Definitely need. Should we go car shopping too? Absolutely. Probably need to pick up some coffee. We'll just go visit all the old haunts. Okay. Just shop. So, um, wow, we have somehow created a little world in Detroit, haven't we? That was the point. Well, yeah, right, right, right. But I'm just like, oh, I know all these places. Taylor's Taylor. All right. Well, I say let's let's gear up and let's let's go to the institution. I know of ways to to get in covertly, if that's what. But you shade, want to do. shade. We've got these bugs on our neck. Shouldn't we address that before we're taken over? Well, 
when we last talked to the troubadour, he said he didn't have a he didn't have a solution. Right. Jade, you've got knives. Just cut this thing out of me. Oh, okay. Well, first things first. We need hats. Okay, so off to Royce. These brain bugs are making me nervous. I'm sure that Royce is filled with different, um, all all different manner of textiles and whatnot. So yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna build myself a little suit. Huh. <laughs> okay. Um. Three days later, you're gonna build yourself a suit. So I tell you what. Uh, roll investigation. Yeah. What? What? What's that, Roy's that you're building a suit out of? Um, Cutting the leather off the couch? Exactly. Yeah, Two successes. Liner. Two successes? Um, there are, you know, there there are some... Curtains? There's no pants, but there's, you know, there, there are a few jackets in the back. Um, you're not going to find a full suit for yourself, but you could... There's a, you know, there's a sport jacket in the back and obviously hats and there are ties, other textiles, ties and scarves and um, cufflinks. Yeah. You know, walking canes. Small things. Yeah. That sort of stuff. Cotton uses yeah. his gown uh, as a loincloth and <laughs> puts on an ascot and a lanyard. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Cotton is prepared as stealthy as he's ever been. Okay. What color's the ascot? It's pink. Pink ascot. Nice. And and the lanyap? Uh the lanyap is sharp. You guys lanyap. Like brown leather? This is one of the better of all the lanyaps ever put out. It is rare African rhino hide band. Ooh. I mean, it's fucking dope. It's a great hat. Rhino hide, uh no. Raymond would oppose to that right away. Well, you you didn't make the hat. It was it's there in the shop. Yeah, but uh, Raymond's been running the shop for six months. He's doing all the shipping and no, receiving. it hasn't been six months. And this hat was <laughs> this hat was already there. You don't get the you don't get the all fucking right. you don't get the poo poo hey. on the on the on the fiction. Raymond Raymond had, Raymond stays in the back room there. He's just gonna go get some clothes. You've moved in. Uh, you know, he crashes out, takes a nap during lunch. So do you have clothes for everybody then? You know, they're probably something they could borrow or something. Yeah. Shado gets, uh, it's fine. Shado grabs some pants and a jacket and he's wearing, I don't remember what the name of it was. Um, it was like the, uh, what was the name of it? The analyzer? No, that wasn't it. <laughs> no, that's uh, not the, the commander? Uh, the one that was like uh, for picking up chicks. <laughs> oh God, what was that one called? And what was it called? Oh, you guys are the ones supposed to be taking notes, not me. I you know, know I yeah, my my notes have uh, uh, expanded to like six pages now. No, maybe eight. For the record, my notes have exactly the same marks on them they did when Duke sent them to me. I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he puts on that hat and also. Uh, oh, it was genius. A, a, a scarf uh, that he wraps around his face. So only his eyes are showing. Savvy. Cotton? Do you just wear some... Oh, you've got your... Yeah, you already did yours. Loincloth, ascot, lanyard. Well, Raymond Raymond tosses me a pair of pants that don't quite fit right, but I put them on. Pair of overalls? Yeah, there we go. Pair of overalls. There might be some. What um, improvised weaponry uh, does Raymond have in the hat shop? <laughs> right? Oh, let's go back. Check it out. There's a few things I've collected. We we'll go back to his uh, little pad in the back back of the shop. You know, it's not much. There's a cot. There's some uh, medical books, and then uh, some gear, some clothes, and uh, a trunk, a trunk full of improvised weapons. Have at it. I'll, I'm looking for something sharp and pointy, akin to a dagger. Uh, he's got some assorted knives. They look like they've been stolen from museums. You know, a little more uh, decorated than normal. Right. He's got what looks like some flint weapons. And uh, he's got some weapons from the Far East. Some knives that look built to throw. And uh, some uh, throwing stars. Raymond, can I can I grab these 
these throwing stars? Take everything. This may be it. Shadow grabs a couple of small knives and a couple of throwing stars. Raymond's going to grab a battle axe and a, uh, the good old handy axe handle. A couple of uh, railroad spikes. And then he's, dropped li- he's dressed like a, a dock worker. He's got like a mechanics jacket on it. And it's got a patch with his name on it. You embroidered a, a patch that says Raymond? Or does it say Scarlet Spark? <laughs> yes. It says Raymond. It says Raymond. And he seems to be very proud of it. Like he's been waiting to bust this out. The overalls have a patch that says Raymond on it too. <laughs> and the pants have Raymond written in marker on the tag. <laughs> right. Across the, in the waistband. <laughs> in the waistband. So every bit of clothing that Raymond has, he's written his name in. That's perfect. No, no, I didn't know that was the case until just yep. now. Every single one. Yep. <laughs> it's to avoid confusion when you're doing laundry. Okay, so geared up. Everybody's dressed. Everybody's got a, a weapon uh, or weapons of some sort. Now where? Let's go to the sanatorium. Let's do it. Can you get a feel of King? Uh, I don't think we're close enough yet, but I just feel like that's the only clue we've got. Can you try and reach out with your mind? I can sure try. Can I roll for that? Yeah, what are you what are you trying to do? I I guess I'm just trying to trying to somehow connect with King with the power of my mind. I mean, you guys have shared the same space for, you know, what? 10 years, 20 years? I'm trying to use my telepathy to feel if I can feel the general direction of King. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Roll telepathy. Yes. You got there. Three. Talk to him. Three successes? Yeah. I think that with three successes, um, you know, you you reach back, you know, you you the telepathy is it's second nature to you. You don't even you don't even have to think about using it. It just happens when you want it to happen. And but there's something missing this time. This is the first time that you've used it since you realized that you and King were not sharing the same mind and you feel a hole, right? There's a, there's a, there's a gap in there somewhere. I I think you, I think you feel the emotional state of your friends in the room, but I don't think that you even feel anyone outside of the building. Like you tried to stretch your mind out into the ether, into the distance, trying to find this link. And I don't think you could even get outside of the room. Whoa. Cotton just looks around listlessly, and a single tear comes down his cheek. We got to go find King. I don't know where he is. It's time. Let's go. Done. Let's roll. And boom, we're at the sanatorium. Oh, we got to roll that dice. Roll what dice? Transportation. (laughs) No, you know how to drive a car. No, but we're going to be doing tricks. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, we're... This could be the last battle, dude. You know? Roll that die. We're going to be ripping through town. We're going to be a menace to society right now. We're going to rip through town. Everybody's going to know we're on the move to something. Oh, Jesus. So you stopped and picked up the Rolls Royce, and <laughs> and now you're screaming through yep. town in the Rolls? Well, I don't know if we're going to scream through town the Rolls. We're in Big Red. Okay, then you're in the Buick. Great. Okay, we can tear ass with that one. Cotton's driving, and we are, f- it's floored. Pedal to the metal, and we're going freaking 38 miles an hour. Holy shit. Dodging civilians. We're like a blur. Housewives diving with their children out of intersections. <laughs> are you pulling up in full on Dukes of Hazard style, slam on the brakes right outside the front door, hopping out of the car? Busting inside? What are you doing when you get there? I think so. I, I, I think Shadow wants to go in as he normally does. Um, okay. Slow us down. Second floor window. Go talk to Spooks. See if maybe Spooks can give some insight before we go in guns blazing. Okay. Are you taking your friends in with you or are you going by yourself? Yeah, we're, we'll park it. You, you guys mind if you just just stay here? I'll, I'll, I'll get with you on the Power Talkers or I'll come back out. Let me let me go in. We need to hear something in 10 minutes. You need to tell us in detail where you're going. I don't talk about this much. Uh, in fact, I've I've probably never told anybody. But somebody that somebody who's important to me 
somebody I'm very close to, is in this building. And I've visited her here before. And so I know a way in, and I know somebody on the inside who might be able to give us some information. So let me go talk to her, see what I can find out. She may not know anything, but it's worth it's worth exploring. Absolutely. My intention is to know where you are located in the building so we can come if you need help. It's second floor somewhere um, on the uh, on if you're looking at facing the building on the on the left hand side. OK. I was going to say. Um, yeah, second floor, left hand side. As you turn the corner to go down the hallway back towards the back of the building, that first number one room on the left. Yeah. Cool. See where that's, I'm that's, that's, yeah. That's pretty much exactly where I was thinking. Like either that right. room or the one right next to it. So, okay. We'll get close. Come over that side. Cotton. Um, Are we doing this under the cover of darkness? Yes. And Cotton, if, if you can maybe keep your mind open and just alert me if you feel orderlies or security or some sort of disturbance. All right. Should I come with? Let me let me scale. This it's kind of difficult to get in. I gotta scale up the side of the wall. He's gonna go in advance. Okay. And get into that window. That's there there's a there's a window um at the room adjacent. Cotton gets out of the car and follows him up to the building and just stands on the ground floor outside of the building so he can be closer. So Shado will go up to the side of the building as he normally has, as he's done a million times before. Scale up the side. Uh, there's a window that Spooks is always left open slightly just in case he were arriving. He finds it open again, sneaks into our room. Do you want me to roll covert or something? Please. Here's yeah. I dice, baby. I cannot believe I can't find the names of these hats. I swear to God, I wrote them down. The only ones I can remember, Commander and Lanyap. I was like the the sexualizer. Yeah. You know, or the, Feels like it started it was, with an S. It was a silly name. Five successes on the, that covert roll, Duke. Six successes. Sorry, six. Why are you sorry about six? Six is better. Because he lied to me the first time. That's why. He's a liar. Liar. <laughs> oh. Just I don't count good. <laughs> I don't count good. Numbers is hard. All right. So scale up the wall, in through the window, into Spook's room. Do I need to roll covert, like, since I'm, like, up by the building or anything? You're staying outside, but trying to stay out of sight? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Roll covert. I'm just trying to be honest about my risk. Um, I got a zero. Okay. Demon Shade. Spooks is laying uh, in bed and moonlight gently illuminates the room so it's not, you know, complete pitch dark. Do you have a do you have a signal or anything when you come into the room to let her know you're there? Or are you just gonna wake her up? She knew slowly approaches the bed. <laughs> um, spooks. Spooks, it's me. Spooks. Wake up. De- Demon Demon Shade? It's me. It's me. Demon Shade. How do you know that name? Word gets out? No, it it, it was... It was in the newspaper? Well, I'm don't sc- worry. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. You don't need to be scared. I just had to make some changes. You're not here to hurt me? No, of course not. I would never hurt you. I would never hurt anybody here. You and your friends are always safe. Well, with you. Because you, you made it sound like you made it sound like you're, you're going to do bad things. Oh, dude. Okay. Only to the people that deserve it. His pamphlets made it into the newspaper? Yeah. Of course. Oh man, that's big news. I didn't realize the whole world knew that. Dude, you have you have an entire you have an entire city government. Yep. As well as every major industrialist and Dude. and the most powerful 
um, the most powerful mob outside of Al Capone in Chicago who are all opposed to you. Do you think that yep. this wouldn't be like one of the biggest stories in town? Yep, yep, yep. St. Shadow's pamphlet only confirmed for the public of Renaissance City the um, the narrative that the mayor pushed when he did his op-ed. St. Shadow came out and said, it's time. Y'all are fucked. We're killing everybody. <laughs> you, you, better, you better run and hide because I'm coming to get you. It's still being talked about. You guys, you guys have been gone a month, more. Yeah, yeah. Ah, huh. yeah. I didn't think about that. No, you rarely do. <laughs> we ran away. <laughs> you guys rarely think about repercussions. What repercussions? It's what it oh, is. Oh man, I, what listen. Repercussions. I would like, for the record, to be clear that Cotton thinks about repercussions and doesn't give a fuck. Right. Okay. That's fair. Right. You don't. How about this? It's not that you don't think about repercussions. You don't. You don't care. <laughs> yeah. You. You That's have. It. You all. You all have. Um. You all have established who you are, and you hold true to that. Yes. I'm not. I'm not admonishing you for any of that. Please don't. Please don't think that I. Oh am. no 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 in, no no. In no way, shape, or form, I, am I admonishing you for for these choices? The only choices I admonish you for are the the really silly bad ones when you make me, you know, say like pubic pocket. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to be clear, there's no apologies there either. No, I know there's none. I, I know. I'm not asking for one. Okay, but yes, it was a it was a huge. Huge story. Yeah. But Demon Demon Shade, how do you... You've been gone for so long. I know. I'm sorry. Things are scary out there. There's a lot more to it that people don't understand yet. I'm just asking you to trust me. Like we've always trusted each other. I'll always trust you. Good. I need some help. I think that one of our friends is here. Have you seen or heard, if not directly, indirectly, about somebody new that came in? Maybe somebody that's described as part animal, almost like it's a fairy tale? Somebody who's in great pain? About three weeks ago, there was there was a sound. And it was in the middle of the night, and I'd never heard anything like it before. And it was... It was distant. It wasn't like it was right outside my room, but it it scared me. It scared all of us. I mean, it made the hair on the back of my neck stand up when I heard it. It was I don't even I don't even know how to describe it, but did it did it sound like like what an animal might sound like if it screamed? I mean, I I, I guess it, it it was it was definitely like an animal. Yes, it, it was definitely like an animal. <sighs> If you were to guess, where would you say that noise came from in the building? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Probably, I mean, it, it wasn't here. I don't, maybe downstairs. It, it sounded like it wasn't close. And I've heard it. I've heard it since then. Really, um, I, I heard it two nights ago. Sometimes it's just like one, but sometimes it it goes on and on. And it changes a little bit. It's almost like pain sometimes. Oh. Uh, and nobody, nobody, nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody. Well, I'm going to find it. And I'm going to save it. Tell me when I can roll telepathy. Ooh, yeah. First, Cotton. Let's go outside want, real quick. Cotton and Raymond, I want you to roll perception. Okay. Yes, damn it. That's what I want. <sighs> <laughs> he gets so excited to roll perception. <laughs> so excited. Oh, damn. Let's get a camera on this. <laughs> One, two, three, four, sixes. Nice. Ooh. Seven all together. You can see what Cotton had for dinner. Oh, gross. Because he's wearing it on that shirt I loaned him. <laughs> Stained up your overalls. Those were your, those were your going out overalls, too. <laughs> he switches on and off. On the inside of the overalls, there's a furry pocket, almost like an homage to King. 
Fuck off. Yep. Oh, that is so cute. It's yep. uh, oh my god. He had it sewn in there and <laughs> put your put your hand in there and see what's in it. Oh, it's been in there. There's uh, just a toothbrush. It's a picture, isn't it? And a toothbrush. It's a toothbrush and a picture. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> picture of Let Raymond. Let me tell King. you about my best friend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, gross what's weird is that cotton is when when i think it can't get any weirder (laughs) what's weird is that cotton is commando and these are way big for him so he's got them cinched all the way up so the crotch is tight i hate this so much that pocket is rubbing on his taint consistently and it's like what are you talking about just put your junk in his pocket (laughs) (laughs) keep my junk in the pocket I hadn't gotten there it's, yet, but I'll, it's fur lined. Yeah, right. It's 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 like these brand new fancy underwear that keep your balls separate. Have you been <laughs> Have you been um, saving up king fur with this? Is that what yeah, you've been doing? <laughs> he's been plucking little king fur. <laughs> I mean, he he saves feathers and you know right. lines the hats with them and shit. Is that what this is? Feathers in the pocket too. Oh my yep, god. Yeah. Yep. How do you do that? I mean, knit it. You tell us. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's. It's probably faux fur. You're you know? the John Wayne Gacy in the group. You tell us how you made the. Yeah, pop. but <laughs> there is no faux fur. This is 1924, dude. This is right. real fur. Well, <laughs> this is like did. this fur. is like tufts. You're you're like I I think you're I think you're running when you hug King. You're running your hands right. through his right. through his yes. mane. Yeah, you know what I mean. And you, what do you do? Weave it and then you braided them together. Yeah, you, you weaved it. You together. weave it. Sure. I mean, King is around you enough, and he yeah. sheds a bit. I mean, oh my just... god, I can't believe we're spending five minutes of the podcast on this. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, we're, seven we're, feet tall. We're world building. Yes, we are. We're... Right. Yeah. We. This is this, and you're right. This is exactly how we build the world. We don't worry about you know the people in it. We don't worry about. We worry about the fucking pubic pockets. Pubic pockets. Uh, well. Okay. No, keep going, please. We got to finish this. Yeah. Cotton, let's get a better perspective. Okay. What are we looking at? Did you Hold did tight. you go around the side of the building with Cotton Raymond? I thought you stayed I thought you stayed in the car. Oh, he was just hanging outside the car, I guess. No, he'd go with Cotton. I mean, Cotton can't flip into King if he can get if he gets in trouble, I need to be with well, him. Hold We're on, they, together. They, he rolled perception. What did he find out? Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm trying to figure out where each of them are. Okay. Where Raymond yeah, dude, and we're... Cotton are, if they're together or if they're on two separate sides of the building. No, we stayed together. Okay, stay together. So were you trying to be covert as well, Raymond? Well, once Cotton took off, I was like, what's the point? So Okay. You know, probably didn't try too hard. But he'll try. Okay, then roll covert. Okay, so one time. One, One success. Yeah. Uh, the two of you are trying to hide in a hedgerow, kind of backed up to the hedgerow <laughs> a little bit, staying in the dark, um, staying in the shadow of it. Um, Dogs come up beside us in the bush, smelling the sausage. Well, you, you, hear, you hear some dogs barking in the distance um, because um, you hear marching feet as well as a, a, a couple of very loud thuds. They're not oh. they're not right next to you. One of them out front of the building, one of them out behind the building. Um, and you hear that hiss, that familiar hiss uh, of the of the gears and the hydraulics of uh, tank mech units. Um, and the the marching you immediately identify as that of guard units. You don't see them. But you can you can hear their footfalls and you can hear the, you know, the steady thuds of uh, the tank mech unit feet feet falling um, or, you know, marching as well as if on patrol. Cotton, let's try to take cover. Yeah, I agree. Let's give him his 10 minutes. Maybe he can figure something out. Yeah, we're going to try our damnedest to get in in that hedgerow and become one with the, the plants. And become one with the plants. Okay, pull a Homer yeah. Simpson. We are focusing. We are focusing on this task. Cotton, focus on this task. <laughs> covert again? Sure. Give me yeah. covert. Okay. 
One. Uh, one dice. One die each. I don't have room on this desk to roll dice because I'm packed away in this corner. So let's see. I thought you were going to say because they have so many dice. I'm like, we're about to not be covert anymore. Hey, Cotton. Yeah. Shoot shade of text. That's not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Let them know it's getting hot out here. All right. You type it into the power walker and then the power walker says it out loud, converts it to voice. <laughs> no, let's just wait patiently. Come on, we can do this. We're going to have to be strategic if we're going to get King out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I just don't want to surprise him. So you guys are staying staying in the bush. We're going to stay put and try to and try to let them stay in the bush. Can I can I do telepathy? We're hiding. Yes, telepathy. Roll telepathy. What are you what are you trying to do? I'm trying to see what's in the building that might be a threat. So I got four sixes, two twos, and a four. How are you going to determine a threat through emotions? Um, I'm going to try to see, I guess, what's aggressive, where they are, what's what's moving quickly, that kind of thing. I don't think you can determine motion. You don't think so? I, I figured I figured the presence that I'm feeling, I could tell where it was. No, no, I don't. I don't think you can. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I, I, okay. Uh, yeah. You know what? I mean, honestly, we we've kind of we've determined. Yeah, we have determined that you you can yeah. you can kind of feel like where their location is. Right. Okay. I got an eleven. You got eleven successes. I did. Oh. <laughs> oh. I rolled the original roll had seven with four sixes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think you can do that. I think I think you know where they're moving. <laughs> Out of the side doing. of the building comes a printout with everyone's cholesterol level. <laughs> what they did yesterday. This guy had too much bacon. Cotton, you are, in the past, you have done all you could to pull in as much emotion as you possibly could to force the transition from Cotton to King. Right. Right. So you have you have flooded yourself with this emotion, but it has always only lasted, you know, mere moments before the switch happens and and Cotton's world goes to darkness for an indeterminate amount of time. Now there is no change. So I want you to roll willpower, please. As standing outside of this sanatorium full of people with um, multiple people with um, unstable conditions that are also in this time period um, not treated in the most humane of ways. There is so much pain and anger and rage and aggression and frustration and um, so much negative emotion that floods you that I think that, yeah, I, I think, yeah, willpower. Roll willpower, please. One. One. That makes sense. Raymond. Yeah. You see Cotton fall to his knees. Cotton, describe for me. Are you... Oh, it made him crazy. As overwhelmed by emotion, What what is your emotional reaction? Are you... Are you in tears? Are you... You know, are you... Are you wounded? Are you, I mean. There's a a collection of 20 different people's lifetime emotional wounds all gathering at one time. And I cycle quickly through sadness and, and helplessness and anger and fear. I seem to. I do my very best to will out of it and seem to land somewhere in the neighborhood between defensive and rageful. And I'm quivering and I'm waiting for Raymond to just give one slight movement toward entering this building and fucking everybody up because it's time. Amongst all of that, amongst all of the overwhelming the powerful emotions that come streaming into your mind. 
you know that King is close by. You you have only touched his mind once when you were all laying on the beds together after first waking up in that room. But you are aware enough that you that you recognize that that same emotional that rage because even though King is calm, cool, and collected and emotion you know uh, emotionless, what King has undergone in this last month, not unlike you, has broken all of that, and you you recognize, and he is he is on the other side of the building, and he seems to be underneath where you are. He is below ground. Demon Shade. You have assured your sister that she is safe with you and that all of the people in the hospital are safe with you. She, sitting on the bed, clutching her knees, staring at you from across the room. You know, normally she would have jumped up and out of bed and had run over to you and nearly tackled you at, in, you know, with joy to see you. But she, her, her actions and her body language show her as very, very closed off and, and protective. I'll like slowly, non-threateningly make my way over to her bed and sit down on the corner of it. How will you choose? How will I choose who deserves it? Yes. For those that oppose me and the things that I've always believed in, if they come at me violently, then every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And I've done opposite reactions. Now it's time for equal reactions. I have a feeling I know who's behind your friends the ones that kept disappearing from the park, the ones that were coming back hurt, I think I know who's responsible. And I intend to stop it. Okay. You say you trust me, right? I do. I need... I need a commotion to pull people up here so that my friends and I can go find the origin of that noise you heard somewhere somewhere down you thought somewhere downstairs maybe yeah i think it's at least on the other side of the building i know it's not it's not it's not over here it's not clo- it's not too close but there are times that it's really loud there are times there are times when it's it's so scary i think the people that are hurting this creature are the same people that have been hurting your friends they're here i i don't know for sure maybe some of them not all of them there are good people here but there may be some bad ones too. There's only one way to find out. Okay, so what do you need me to do? Do you think you you could help make a commotion? Maybe get a couple people up on this floor to make a commotion? Maybe maybe pull people's attention up here for a few minutes? Yes. Yes. Yes, I I can do I can do that for you. Yes. Okay. I need five minutes. So Start counting down from 300, and when you hit to zero, make a commotion. Count down real slow. Jade's sister must be better with numbers than he is. Do I start now? <laughs> as soon as I leave this room, start your count. Okay. Spooks. Yes? I love you. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. I... I, I love you too. Shado leaves the room, scales down the wall. Do you need me to um, roll covert for that? Uh, yeah, please. Yes, please. Yeah. All right, here we go. We got some friends showing up too. Ooh. Six successes with um, four sixes. Five, six, seven, eight total. Eight total. Um, roll perception too, please. Ooh, perception. Got some dice in that. <laughs> Odd dice, baby. Four total. There we go. I wish uh, uh, the people that go on mute could talk amongst themselves. That would be cool. That would be cool. Because I'm over here having thoughts. We could open a separate oh, we could. Um, Zoom call while we're on the Discord call <laughs> so that we can really confuse the shit out of each other. Yeah. 
I could see how lines would get crossed pretty quick. It's like, well, I mean, I was listening back to the um, to the test audio while you guys were still telling stories, and I'm like, okay, is that is that the recorded audio or is that them talking? Right. Which one? <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah. Anyway, Shado, as you come out the window, you can see your friends down on the ground, squatted, trying to um, hide amongst uh, one of the hedge lines out there. We must and not you, be hiding very well. You're not. Um, <laughs> Mission not accomplished. You are not hiding very well. Shadow walks to the window. He's like, there they are. Yeah. <laughs> um, All right. And and you can't, when you, you know what I mean, when you stick your head out the window, um, you can also hear the footfalls um, of what you know to be guard units and the tank mech guard units as well. And you can hear them off to the right, and you can hear them around the building off to the off to the left. I will scurry across the courtyard to the to the row of hedges. Scurry, scurry, gents. I think he's here. Uh, I know he's my, here. You do. You felt it. He's on the other side. He's underground. Let's go get him. Okay, let's move. And and, and what? What? One second. In just a couple of minutes, my contact in the inside is going to create a commotion, hopefully pulling anybody inside upstairs to give us a little more ability to move through without disturbing things. Remember, there are innocent people here who have nothing to do with this. Our mission is to go get King. Yep. And kill everything that gets in our way. As soon as we start hearing the commotion... That's our cue to make a break for it. Calvin, when it's time to break, you just start running and then hold on tight. All right. Now, Duke, you have to count backwards from 300 in a girl's voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already down to 81. Okay, great. And then she gets distracted. Okay, <laughs> right, exactly. So, she goes pee and forgets where she was at, forgets what she was doing. The the commotion never never hits as per. Yeah, usual. we're just sitting out here like, what what are we waiting on? I mean, she's probably heavily medicated. I imagine keeping focus that long is probably a challenge. Probably, you're <laughs> probably right. Yeah, and nine, eight. <laughs> so twenty two minutes later. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> you hunker down. You can hear footsteps approaching the tension building. From the back of the building, you see a set of guard units turn the corner. Okay. There are two pair of them walking side by side, and you can hear the tank mech unit behind it. Right as they turn the corner... From the back. From the back of the building. Right as they turn the corner... You can hear from inside the building, in the window that Shadow just came out of, someone starts singing at the top of their voice. I am Henry VIII, Henry VIII, I am, I am. (laughs) And banging on a bedpan. Just wailing on a bedpan. Bing, 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 bing. I was married to the girl next door. She's been married seven times before. Just top of her lungs. And within the first chorus, the first, you know what I mean? The, the, the first stanza, you can hear three other voices from the hallway pop up. And then three more follow it, and then more, and then more. And yeah. then all of a sudden, there is this chorus of bedpans and um, doors being knocked on and and uh, you know singing of henry the eighth um coming from the second story of this sanatorium awesome uh okay really quickly before we get into whatever we're getting into shado knows this facility is the front door uh reinforced is it you know tell me tell me a little bit about what i know about the facility reinforced um no, but it's a but it is a it is a very heavy door. Um, the the entrance door you know has um, has some interior locks in case 
you know what I mean, in, in case they need to lock the building down. You you also know that there are that there are staff entrances um, in three different locations in the building. Um, one of them is at that back corner that you are looking at where the guard units are coming around. One is um, off the back porch of the building itself. Um, and the other one is at the far back corner on the other side of the U of the building. Um, so if you're looking at the map. And the hedgerow is where in relation? Uh, about. Left side. Yeah, about, about 20, 25, 30 feet off. Um, of the of the left side of the building. So you came down out of one, yeah, 25, 30 feet off that way. And there are trees, you know, I mean, and there's um this is a beautiful place. The grounds, yeah. the grounds of this of this hospital are um are are very, very well kept. And the majority of the people that stay here are of families with money. Um this is not, you know, as you described it previously, um shadow the this this is the best of these kinds of facilities oh good good and, good and you and you have done the part of the reason that you know this place so well is because alabaster puts a lot of money into this place yeah so you have access to so many of these things but if you're looking at the map itself that that number one on the on the first floor that number one room all the way at the top of the u on the left so there's a little jut that comes off of that. That's where the employee entrance is over there. And then on the far right-hand side, you can see the number six in that top corner in that set of stairs. That's the other employee entrance over there. And then in the middle of the U itself, you see another six with the porch there. And, and you know that that's another entrance um, to the building there. So you don't have to go in the front doors if you don't want to. Shade, let's hit the roof. Well. <clears throat> okay, let's do it. So I'll are we are we gonna scale? We're gonna scale the building. I'm gonna use my swing line ability using my dick to get up to the roof. Okay, so you're gonna roll it minus eight dice. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, okay. I I failed. If your if your genitalia are your swing line, you know, and you're trying to get to the roof two and a half stories high the only thing i have on me except for the scarf i guess but okay let's scale i can scale i got no problem with that what's um cotton how's your how's your scaling ability no raymond i'll get cotton there let me grab you jump up there man no just run run ahead of me i got an idea we're like run out of brick wall we're trying to get up the roof yep i'm gonna grab you and we're gonna go i'm gonna run directly at a brick wall as fast as i can okay 20 feet away. Shado, Shado, start and give me a, an agility roll. Um, Raymond, while we're getting the, the agility from, from Demon Shade, um, please describe what it is that you are doing as Cotton is running as fast as he can toward a brick wall. <laughs> I can't wait to hear this. I'm not going to let him run into a brick wall. I mean... Right. What's your plan? You said you had a plan. Yeah. You're going to do something. Okay. What are you going to do? Tell me. He's going to run towards him, grab him by the hips. And heave them. <laughs> you're going to throw. You're going to throw cotton sixty feet in the air. Yep. <laughs> and then, uh, guess I should roll toughness. Take another couple steps. Jump up behind him. Catch the baby. Lay him on the deck. Jazz's deck. Oh no. Yeah. Jazz's <laughs> swing line deck. Shadow's deck. <laughs> 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 All right. Love it when a plan comes. All right. Up. Roll agility. You better roll good, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Move on. Well, the might uh, isn't necessary. You can, the might is, you know, that's, you have no problem throwing cotton in the air. That's easy. Um, you're definitely strong enough to throw a man 60 feet. You do it often. Um, so, yeah, give me, uh, give me agility. Agility roll? Yeah. Shado, Shadow, yes. Demon Shade. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? We don't even know. Dude, you're gonna end up in this building. What what uh what'd you get for your agility roll? Five successes. Ooh. Five successes. Four dice. And four for Raymond. So Shadow, describe for me how you get up the side of the building and onto the roof. So it's 
it's kind of cool. Sh- uh, Shado just runs towards the building, seems to find uh, a bit of leverage, and at the same time makes a step and a leap, and is halfway up the building, and scurries up the rest of the way in a perfect uh, shadow on the side of the building that's being cast from one of the trees. So from the outside, you never even knew he did it. Wait, is daylight? Is the moon out? I thought we- the moon's out. Yeah, the moon's out. Oh, okay, sure, 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 sure. The moon's out. Okay. So uh, as you, nighttime. yeah, as you, um, as you get that halfway mark, um, you see Cotton fly past you, <laughs> and then not a split second behind, um, Raymond also streaks past you into the air, um, and as you uh, crest the edge of the roof, Raymond is setting. Cotton down um, after cradling him uh, gently. <laughs> All right, you're on top of the roof. Now what? Was that cool, Cotton? Oh, it was. It was a little bit of adrenaline, like I needed any. Let's get to King. It's on the other side. Okay, so let's just start running towards the other side. Or do you want to like belly crawl? Try to remain covert. You just want to run. Shade, you take the lead. We'll follow you. Could we jump inside the horseshoe and run across? From where we are, we're pretty much just like on the map, like over the porch, right? Like just above the porch. Uh, if you went up at the same room, then you are, yes. Yeah. Essentially, you're you're over the porch on the second floor. Okay. And let's just, we're just running to the other side then. That's what you want to do. That's what we think. Are you talking just across the roof? Yeah. Because Raymond was thinking we jumped down into that courtyard and hit the first floor from there. Okay. All Raymond knows is he's underground. We got to get on that other side and we got to go low. And takes off running. Just jump off the roof. I'll catch you. <laughs> okay. Cotton jumping off the roof? No, Cotton's going to run all the way across the roof around to the other side. Spartan, you jump down. Raymond's going to jump down, run across the courtyard, and jump up to the other side. Okay. Meet the rest of the gang over there. A lot of effort. Shadow? Man, you got to make it look good. I would think you're going to attract Max. Are you trying to be fast or are you trying to be stealthy, Raymond? Raymond is uh, being, yeah, he's trying to be quiet. You know, it's, it's, it's nighttime. And he just <laughs> then roll covert, uh, jumping in and out of courtyards, trying to be quiet, right? Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. you do. Oh, three plus two, three, three total, three total. Well, pretty good. yep, it is pretty good for you. Um, yeah. except yeah, for the well, se- except for the seven successes that the guard units got. Um, oh, okay, shadow. Did you follow Cotton, or were you scaling the building down and then climbing the other side of the building? No, I, I was just going to follow Cotton. Okay, so you follow Cotton around. Spartan, you hit the ground uh, at the back of the U, and um, perfect roll out and dash across the courtyard there. And from that back porch... Right, where they go out to smoke... The guard units that the two guard units that are standing there, um, <laughs> nice turn and are are tracking you and come down the stairs as if to um, investigate and and kind of take off after you. They don't go out to smoke. They smoke inside. They go out for fresh air. <laughs> yeah, nobody goes outside to smoke in the twenties. Everybody just oh, smokes true, air. true, smoking your desk. In pure Raymond style, he acts as a diversion, whether intentionally or not, and helps us have more cover. Yes. Yeah, let's let's do it like that. <sighs> that's that's what he'll say he was doing. Right. Okay. So we're gonna I'm 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 just gonna run all the way over to above the employee entrance on the back side of the other U. Okay. And try to hang off the edge of the building and carefully lower myself down if I can, as far as I can. 
Okay, roll agility. All right. Shade, are you following him down? Shade's going to keep a watchful eye on Cotton. One. Keep a watchful eye? What does that mean? <laughs> Meaning I he wanted wants to, to laugh when he hits the ground. No, I want to be able to react if it looks like he was going to fall or something. You know. Oh, okay. So not helping him, just just waiting for him to fall and going to try to catch him. <laughs> no, I, okay, I was great. So, um, so with that, he rolled one success um, and is, you know, what twenty five thirty feet off the ground, um, trying to scale a building because because you guys always go outside of your comfort zones, and I love it. I love that you take risks. Um, and you see his, you see him drop over the side, and his first hand goes down. And his second hand comes off the the roof way too quickly. It looks like it was not intentional. Um, I will let you react. You are fast enough that I will let you react, Shadow, to uh, what you assume is Cotton losing his balance or losing his grip. Uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna run to the side of the building and you know try to catch him, catch him from catch his hands. Okay. Um, do you have a special skill that this would ha- that that would help with this, or um, do you think that this is just agility, raw agility? I think it's um, yeah, just uh, raw agility. Okay, give me agility roll. Roll them all, baby. Eight dice. Here we go. Four. Four total. Hey, can I just can I just make note that? Of course. We haven't switched to King in a long time. Mm. Is that intentional? Is what intentional? Not getting to be in King's skin for a minute. Yes, it's completely okay. intentional. Well, I don't know. because oh. I, it, it, As far as Cotton's concerned, like there's going to be some sort of a reun- reuniting or something. Like I'm still going to be a part of King's life. Mm-hmm. Why would you think you're going to be a part of King's life? Because I always have been, and it's what I want to have happen. Oh, all right then. I guess we're gonna all be besties. <laughs> I just wanted you. I just wanted you to be uncomfortable and suffer. It's working. Okay. Not really. Not really. I'm just being an asshole, Raymond. Yes. Um, as you cross the courtyard and leap up onto the other roof, um, you see these guard units. Uh, coming down off the porch, do you still choose to leap? Are you you going to keep moving, or is your intention to what? What is your intention? What are you doing? Let's uh, whip out a couple of railroad spikes. As we run across the courtyard, we'll fling them. Sweet. See what I'm saying? Woof, woof. Give me agility plus uh, plus one for the improvised weapon. Oh, uh, all right, baby, come on. Booyah! Huh. Huh. Two dice. <laughs> Two's enough. Two's enough. Yeah. One for each of them. Describe. Oh, these are the oh great. These are the pinheads. These are the yeah, these are the pinheads. Um these are so the uh describe for me describe for me how it goes. As he's running across the courtyard, his eyes catch these guards coming out. He steps into his throw as he's running, flings one with the right, flings one with the left. And they go right through their left and their right eye eye sockets. Drops them uh, in a pile of sparks and, and hissing steam. Not not losing a step, right? Is that, is that, there you go. Is that fair? Yep. yep. He's going to look up and eyeball his jump. Yeah, you make that leap. You make that leap no problem. Does he see Cotton falling off the building or is he on the other side? You, you leap up and you see Shadow um, dash from, from where he is uh, to your left. Um, and and reach over the side of the building, um, and and you are unsure. You don't see Cotton, um, but you see Shadow make this dive like toward the corner of the building. Right. He kind of get a sense of what what's going on there, though, huh? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I, I think I think you can I think you can definitely draw conclusions as to um, as to what has happened. Cotton, you are you have one hand on a gutter. And as your other hand slips, um, you feel your weight shift um, and your stomach drops. Right as you are about to lose grip, Shadow leaps 
over the edge and you feel his hand grasp your hand and then the dogs start barking <laughs> puppies you you feel his hand grasp your hand and save you from falling 30 feet uh to the ground shadow now that you have him in your grip cliffhanger uh, what are you doing cotton use me as leverage and get your feet on the side of the building all right got it okay now I'm going to, while uh, still stabilizing Cotton, I'm going to get myself on my feet. And here's what I want to do. I want to jump off the building okay. and like flip. <laughs> Nasty flip, plunge. Flip Cotton up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like over geez. my head. And then, so both of us are flipping through the air and then landing, landing on the ground. Do perfect. I look like a fucking plaything to you guys? Landing on the ground or back on the roof? Oh, uh, back on the roof. Sorry, back on the roof. Flip him up. Back on the roof. And then, and then land him back on the roof. Okie doke. Roll might. Might. Jump. Huh? It's an act of strength. Might. Do I yeah, look like a go. freaking carnival plaything? What the hell? Yeah. Obviously, oh. to, your, to your friends, this time you do. Six. Oh, nice. Six out of seven. No, Thank no you. sixes. Thank you. Six successes. Six successes. Okay. Um, Cotton, you you are pulled, flipped again uh, <laughs> by your other hero friend um, up and onto the roof, and um, he catches you by the waist like it's um, gymnastics, and uh, just you know sets you down gently. Well, that's one way to save me. Thanks, Shade. And then uh can we can I grab his waist and jump off together? You sure. Why not? I'm gonna cradle <laughs> him like a like a baby. Oh no. And just leap off the side of the roof and down to the ground. Yep. Cotton, are yeah. you gonna are you gonna let that happen, Cotton? I don't really I mean he just does it. I really haven't he didn't ask permission or anything. He just freaking did it. I didn't ask for consent. I just did it. I mean at this point, I'm just going to trust him. I'm. We got to get out of here. Okay. Yeah. Trust him. I mean, hell, I was about to jump off myself. Raymond sees Cotton landed on the roof. He's going to just go ahead and jump off to the other side because it looks like that's the direction we're trying to go. Okay. Everybody leaps down. Raymond, I want you to roll. He's rolling something. No, you, you can make that jump. No problem. Shadow, you're going to need to roll... God, I don't even know how. What what would you even roll for this? Shadow, try to land close to Raymond, please. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be might, right? I was gonna say, I think it's might again. Yeah, it's got to be might. You're you're holding another man in your arms as you leap twenty five or thirty feet down to the floor, right? Yeah, gotta be. All yeah. right, here we go. It's it's a call. Go. Ooh, I like it. One, hey! two. Three, four, five with three sixes. Perfect. Two more successes. Seven total. The dice are your friends today. Thank you. Tell, yeah. Thank you. Tell dice. me what. Tell me what happens. Tell me what it looks like. So I set him down perfectly like a gymnast, and <laughs> then sweep sweep my arm underneath his his legs to cradle him close to my bosom, like he's a baby, and okay. I I take two <laughs> luscious strides. And Why leap. does it have to be luscious? <laughs> They're Hi. luscious slides. And leap <laughs> off the building. And uh, you can see you can see me outlined in the moonlight a la E.T. on the bike. Only it's me clutching no. cotton to my bosom. Now, and don't forget, don't forget that cotton is only wearing a loincloth and an ascot. <laughs> no, I have, I have overalls. He's got overalls <laughs> on with a with a fur lined pocket inside. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and a hat. And and he's wearing a hat. Right. Uh, land. And uh, and then yeah, uh, just land uh, land softly in the grass. Cotton pukes a little. <laughs> Do you guys hug afterwards? We were hugging during. What are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. This was the most intimate that Cotton and I have ever been. Yeah, Raymond's going to join that hug. <laughs> <laughs> we're just having a, having a group hug in the courtyard real quick. Hey, man, this is last battle. We're going to die here. 
<laughs> a weird bunch of heroes. Renaissance City is a Prowlers and Paragons Ultimate Edition actual play produced by TTRP Theater. Jazz Abramowitz is Demon Shade. Chris Freedom is King and Cotton Dearborn. Dean Martin Jr. is the Scarlet Spartan, and I am Duke Walter, your Game Master. Thank you to the generosity of our Patreon supporters, T Dorf67, Kamui, Adam Lake, Elira, Matthias Olson, Izzy Skirmish, Mr. Cultist, David Hagberg, M. Lemodi, and Jess Rogers. If you would like to join as a producer, please search TTRP Theater on Patreon. We are at Ren City Pod, R E N C I T Y P O D, on Twitter. Also, make sure to check out and follow at TTRP Theater on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure to leave a review of our podcast as this helps to get the word out about our game. Thank you for listening, and we will see you next time for more Renaissance City.